Rhea Ripley deleted a recent comment on Dominic Mysterio, so we'll see what that's about. We'll also check out what's new with Randy Orton, Alexa Bliss, and more. Starting things off with this interesting deleted post from Rhea Ripley. This all started when Dominic shared a post on his Instagram account, talking about how he defeated Rey Mysterio all on his own, and how he's now the greatest Mysterio of all time. WWE's Kathy Kelly could be seen in the comment section of Dominic's post, reminding Dominic that it was only because of Liv Morgan's help that he was able to pin his father. Rhea Ripley would then respond to Kathy's comment, saying that Dominic is used to fabricating and lying about things. But within a few minutes, Rhea Ripley ended up deleting her own post. So why was that post deleted? WWE usually lets superstars go back and forth with little posts on social media to keep stories going and keep giving them new life throughout the week. But it looks like in this instance, they didn't want Rhea Ripley to say too much of anything online because obviously they wanted to save her entire reaction to Dominic's recent actions for the July 15th edition of Raw. They left things on Raw with that big cliffhanger and uncertainty surrounding Rhea and Dominic's relationship. So they want fans to come back to the July 15th edition of Raw to get answers about how Rhea feels about Dominic. They don't want Rhea Ripley to give away how she feels about Dominic days in advance on social media. It's the equivalent of an actor spoiling something big about their character arc and story days before the actual television episode airs to the public. So that's why Rhea Ripley had to delete that post. They wanted Rhea to be silent and mysterious online about how feelings towards Dominic, at least until the July 15th edition of Raw. Once we hear where Rhea stands with Dominic, then she'll most likely get some more freedom to crack some more jokes like that deleted comment. So in a way, you can look at that deleted comment as a spoiler on how Rhea's character will feel towards Dominic. She thinks he's a liar and that he's been enjoying all the recent antics with Liv Morgan instead of genuinely trying to fix things. Rhea will no doubt call Dominic Mysterio out on that and it'll be up to him to climb himself out of that hole. Dominic has been busy reposting some interesting stuff on social media as well. Dominic recently shared an old image of when Eddie Guerrero got flowers for China to try and win her back over. So some fans are wondering if Dominic is going to follow in Eddie Guerrero's footsteps and try to give something like flowers to Rhea Ripley to win her back. But obviously, it shouldn't be that easy for Dominic. He did lots of questionable things with Liv Morgan, so it'll be harder than just flowers to fix it up. Dominic even reposted a clip of Bill Clinton talking about how he didn't have any actual relations with that woman. Dominic was reposting that clip for the context between Liv Morgan and himself. Dominic implying that it may look bad, but he never actually had any relations or did anything with Liv at all. So lots of interesting posts, reposts, and deleted comments surrounding this entire story, and it should keep going strong right into SummerSlam. It's one of the hottest women's feuds with the most story momentum that WWE has had in a long time, so hopefully it stays going strong. Alexa Bliss is continuing to hint that her WWE return could be getting close to taking place. Alexa has been sprinkling in lots of recent training sessions to her social media platforms, just earlier this week, Alexa Bliss took to Instagram to share a recent photo of herself training in the ring, hitting some backflips, and pointing out that it was her first time doing the move since giving birth. Then just a few days after that, Alexa Bliss posted another promising clip of herself hitting her top rope, Twisted Bliss finisher, which was also the first time she attempted that move in well over a year and a half. So Alexa's return has been something that a lot of fans have been buzzing about for a long time, because obviously, she could end up being a very important character in the world of Uncle Howdy and the Wyatt Six. It just seems impossible for them to bring Alexa back, ignore her Wyatt history, and keep her away from the Wyatt Six. That just seems so unlikely and unrealistic. So everyone expects her to play a role there in that faction, and Alexa's building more hype around her return with these new clips showing that she's actively training in the ring right now, and how her return could be happening in the very near future, hopefully before the end of the year. 
Alexa seems to be in great condition. She's hitting all these moves she hasn't done in a long time very perfectly. It looks like the only thing she's waiting for now is for Creative to find an opening to write her return in. Again, there was lots of signs that Alexa would be involved with the Wyatt Six, just at a later date than the original members. There was one Uncle Howdy teaser from the spring where he was talking about reaching out to a certain woman and how he tried inviting her, but how it's ultimately up to her if she wants to join or not. Howdy never mentions any names for who he was referring to here, but a lot of fans think that the teaser was meant for Alexa Bliss. Acknowledging that Howdy extended the olive branch to Alexa, and he's leaving the choice in her hands when she's ready. So lots of excitement there to see Alexa in the ring, hitting her iconic moves, and hopefully a return isn't that far out at all. WWE is continuing to plant some major seeds for a post-SummerSlam feud for Cody Rhodes. So let's take a look at that. For several weeks now, Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens have formed an alliance against the Bloodline. But a small story that's been happening in the background of this alliance is Randy Orton's apparent obsession with the WWE Championship. No matter if it's a backstage segment or an in-ring segment, Randy Orton will immensely stare at the WWE title over Cody's shoulder at every single opportunity he gets. And the July 12th edition of SmackDown addressed this more directly, but with a cover-up from Randy's behalf. Randy said that he knows Cody doesn't want any backup against the bloodline, but how he'll always have Cody's back. Randy Orton tells Cody that a lot of men in the locker room will be coming for the WWE title, but how Orton himself will have Cody's back against all of them. So it sounds good, it sounds very unselfish, and truly sounds like something from a trustworthy best friend. But fans aren't fully buying into Randy's promise to defend Cody against other challengers. Fans feel like it's only a matter of time before all that staring gets paid off with Randy Orton gunning for the WWE title from Cody Rhodes himself. Randy even came out to try and help Cody against the Bloodline, but got absolutely destroyed by the Bloodline. And the Bloodline even hit Orton with that same table powerbomb that wrote him off television in 2022. So there's got to be some PTSD there from Orton's character to experience that sort of attack all over again. And you gotta wonder if that's gonna be something that Randy uses as a reason to turn on Cody in the future. Cody vs. Solo appears to be a lock for SummerSlam. So if Cody vs. Randy is happening, it looks like that has a strong chance to kick off immediately following SummerSlam. So be on the lookout for more little moments and hints between Cody and Randy that could raise the tension. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys!